he was going for the tail. Yeah. And it, it was uh, this young fella here. <laughs> Styling in his hoodie. He thought he was hung up on a rock. It pulled so hard. He thought he was a rock, but no. It was just a big fight. Hey, everybody. Pit. Look what we caught. Yeah, that's that boy right there. The real colors and spots and things. That's a lapu lapu. Also, uh, the f my friend's brother caught this little guy, and we don't know what he is, so if you know, comment. He looks like a grouper, kind of a fish with stripes. See the stripes? This one's got the dots and kind of little cloud patches of dark and light, you know? A little orange tab on his fin here. Lift up his fin where his tan line is. That's his tan line. So anyway, I'm gonna fillet this guy right now. I've already started the first cut. So uh, now we're gonna see right here. I've started this cut here. I've actually got the other side done, and then I thought, well, I should probably do a YouTube on this thing. So anyway, basically following the the vertical bone line going in on that side. Now I'm going to do the bottom side here. I'm cutting in right at this fin line here because there's bones here, and it'll keep you from going too deep. So you just kind of follow those bones as you go in. However, these bones don't mesh with the with these other vertical bone so you got to be careful as to where you want your knife winds up because it doesn't always wind up where you want it to so anyway i'm going to try to come in on top of these bones and it's a smaller fish so it's not as easy to kind of you know fillet things are micro size small in the u.s what we do normally we'll come in right here at the tail and we'll hold the fish like this and we'll just fillet down the spine because there's not much, the spine is so thin that you don't really lose that much meat. It's really quick and you and you just fillet all the way up to here. No, actually we start here, fillet back, and then we flip it with this piece of skin attached and then we skin it. But this is, uh, I'm out of practice here, so we're doing it like this right now cutting through the bones with a serrated part of my fillet knife. And again, this, uh, or not again, but just so you know, this head here will make some pretty decent fish head soup. My wife said she's gonna make some fish head soup from this, so she gets the head and I get the meat. Actually, <laughs> just kidding everybody, she's gonna get well, we need to catch some more fish before we actually uh, do anything with this one here. But come around on this side so you can see. Come around on this side so you can see. Okay, so anyway, you see I'm kind of working it from this side because it's a little easier on a smaller fish. A bigger fish, you could come in from the opposite side and follow those ribs and stuff. Now I'm into the ribs now, so I gotta start using this serrated part of my knife blade to get through the, the rib. They're just tiny ribs, so it's not, even big ribs, this serrated blade just pretty much saw through them like a, like a sawzall almost. But you can see, we still got a lot of meat on this head here. You see all this? But it's under all this hard plate, so I can't really get to it unless I dig it out. Well, my wife's gonna cook that and so she will get to that part, all that meat. Here's the guts, I'm just gonna leave them there. And now you're gonna do the, get the skin off. And this skin is a little bit thick, so it's kind of nice, because it helps you with the fillet. And you just barely put your knife edge blade down, a little bit down, not much, because if you go down too much, it cuts through. But see that there? There ain't no meat at all on that. That's perfect. And then we flip it. And uh, look at that. Almost looks like catfish with these little blood lines and stuff. And I love catfish, but it looks like catfish. And then uh, there's a little, take these ribs out here. These are little tiny hair-like ribs, so it's not that easy uh, to kind of get them out. but. I'm going to get them out because I don't eat ribs. Well, pork ribs. 
is another story, but I'm kind of coming in. I'm coming under and above and all kinds of, uh, the ribs are just so tiny and hair-like, you can't even see them. Not that I've got great lighting here and I could see them if the lighting was good, but I might give that to my wife for the soup. But anyway, we got 90% of the ribs out. And now there's a little row of pin bones right here I gotta cut out. These are attached to the ribs, by the way, which makes getting the ribs out a little difficult too. I'll just cut all the way through. There is a nice boneless filet, and I said it looks like catfish. I bet this is gonna be really tender and moist and juicy, just like catfish. Again, I love catfish. Being from the south, where catfish is king, uh, I'd rather eat catfish and virtually any other fish. I mean, I like sashimi, tuna, yellowfin, tuna, so that's one of my other favorites, but that's raw. But the catfish is fried, of course. Only one way to do catfish, that's fried. Alrighty, so we are done with that, with that one. My wife's going to bag that one with the other one, and I'm going to start to work on this little guy. I'm not sure. In the Philippines, they they eat tiny fish, and they don't throw anything back because everybody eats <laughs> everything. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna try to fillet this little guy here the same way, and he's just tiny, so yeah, I don't expect to get a lot of meat off of him. I could do it the way we do in the U.S. Come in here, cut through the the uh, ribs here and start just working my way down you know the fillet here I gotta get my surprisingly enough this fish has got tougher and a pretty big spine for a little tiny fish I'm kind of working my way over it so here is the Texas way you see how I came in here sliced it down didn't do either side and then you just flip it this is still connected to the fish then you come in here and then you slide off slide the meat off the skin just like that and that is how we fillet fish in Texas because they're you know we're doing crappie we're doing bass sand bass largemouth bass all those fish and they're not 10 kilo fish like here like here we're getting 10 kilo fish and uh you know catching i mean buying i haven't caught any 10 kilo fish here but i will when the boat's done you guys are going to come along with us on the paradise trimaran and we're going to be jigging let me put that piece of skin back under here where it goes we're going to be jigging and catching as big a fish as we can possibly catch and normally if you're going little, not really deep drop, 1,000 feet, but 400 feet, 600 feet, 300 feet, boom. There you go. That's that's the flip for the small fish. See that? You wouldn't do that with a big fish, but you definitely do that with small fish because, like I said, the, the spine bone is too big, and you lose too much meat here because you're following that spine bone and whatever the difference in the thickness of the spine bone and where those little vertical ribs are that's the meat you lose. But on a little fish like that, that's got a little tiny spine bone, you don't lose nothing. You look at it, there's nothing, paper thin, nothing. Everything's good. So we did good, so we're gonna clean that up. My wife's gonna wash it and bag it. Then we will be back with more. This is uh, my fishing team, by the way, it's called Fishing Paradise. So we'll be back with more Fishing Paradise videos. It'll still be on the My Paradise from Battalion Island channel, but it'll be Fishing Paradise series uh, fishing video. So we'll be back with more from Fishing Paradise from My Paradise on Battalion Island. Bye for now.